All right, what is up guys? Jarrett Campisi with the beautiful Christina K. Welcome back to the channel. I'm, I really wish this was clickbait, um, but unfortunately our brand new 2021 Mercedes AMG GLE 53 is dead. It won't start. All right, so I'll head out to the garage. We'll show you what it's doing. The crazy thing about this is I just did a trip in this car to pick up a new motorcycle and I drove for seven hours round trip. And if this would have happened while during that trip, I have the key teens. That would have been a freaking nightmare. Thank God it happened at our house. Um, but the next day we went out, Christina was going to a, an appointment. She goes to get in the car and start it and it just won't start. So let me show you what it's doing. Well, first of all, I'm trying to unlock the door for Christina and it won't even let me. So I don't know if I can manually. Oh, oh God, oh no. Well, apparently unlocking the door from Let's the just, inside of the car <laughs> sets the car alarm off. Let's just push this off the cliff. Yeah, seriously, nothing but problems with this car. Anyway, let me try and start the engine. I'll show you what it does. So it acts like it's gonna start, but then it doesn't. Gives you a little and it gives you this. Icon. Stop vehicle, see operators no, manual. Click the I, click the Click info. the info. Yeah, and before it came up here and said something wrong with the 12 volt it's supposed to, Yeah, it's supposed to tell you like what's, give you But half of, the time it says there's nothing, so. Yeah, sometimes. There we go. Okay, so there it is. It's malfunctioning. So 12 volt battery is, battery is malfunctioning. Stop the vehicle in accordance with traffic conditions. Do not continue driving. Contact. So. Contact A. <laughs> So we basically contacted um, Sun Motors, which is our local Mercedes dealership. They did not sell us the car. They've been helping us with the issues that it's had. Um, and they're like, well, this is weird. We've never seen this yeah, before. Yeah, <laughs> we've never seen that one before. I'm like, cool. Um, they said, you know, contact Mercedes uh, roadside assistance. So we did, and they're actually on their way to pick up the car. Hopefully they can get it out of the garage. I don't know if you can get it in a neutral, so that's gonna be interesting to see how they get it out of here. Oh yeah. So um, we're gonna hopefully get it towed over to Sun Motors Mercedes, and then, um, they're gonna have to give us a loaner because unfortunately we need our loaner because the roads are awful The right only now. other cars we have are, sp are sports cars and we really don't want to be driving them the condition if we've There's had snow and sleet and freezing the rain roads. Yeah, they've been putting cinders down on the roads and stuff. And we don't want to screw our cars up So our SUV is supposed to be our daily reliable the brand new car and honestly since day one we had alignment issues We've had orange peel in the paint We've had transmission issues that have continued, and now we have now it's a not car not starting. starting. <laughs> and we've lived with all of those issues because we were planning on trading this car in anyway to get a 63 version. Um, but now I'm not even sure if I want the 63. Not I might just go sure buy something else. Yeah, like you it's know? you buy this is over a hundred thousand dollar car, and like Brand for new. it to be having these issues, I've had needs. I've had. A Nissan Rogue, never had any issues with it. Honda I had a CRV. Honda CRV, never had any issues with those. So it's like, it's just, it doesn't make any sense to me that Mercedes, which I love, we have a GTR Pro over there, would be having these issues. I don't know if we just got a lemon car or what, but like, we just need to be able to use our freaking car at this point. It's Especially in the dead of winter. Yeah, it's absurd. So, um, and we just put snow tires on him too. We're yeah. like, yeah, we're going to be going snowboarding. And yeah, doing imagine if this would have happened like in the middle of a snowstorm somewhere and we're just stranded. <laughs> screwed. Yeah, like it's not good. This is, it's All right, well, we'll see what happens when they get there. Hopefully we can get it over to some Mercedes and then uh, go from there. All right, while we're getting waiting for the tow truck to come, Tina Wieners is in here getting some work done. She doesn't feel well today. You have a headache and she screwed up her foot somehow. We're not really sure how, so she's... I, I think one of my, there's two bones right here. It's one bone, but the two that stick out for truth. Um, the bottom one, I think I effed up when I was walking in like stripper heels. You should show them the clip. Hands, and I like rolled my ankle, but that was over a week ago. And then I ran in the snow like two days ago. I think that's the, what did it. To film the the real the, the Instagram reel uh -huh. um, with me with the American flag, and I think the cold or something maybe I landed on it wrong. By the way, did you see the now people? Now it hurts like a like it really hurts, and I can't put pressure on it, so I can't even walk. I need the crutches, and I can't work out. And then I've had a this headache for the past 14 hours, and I woke up at five. You know what's great for a headache? They say sex. <laughs> Let's talk about sex, baby. Hey, you know what's you... funny is that song is the one I'm actually using for this video. Should we show them a little clip? I, no, I won't show you a clip, but I can show you the outfit I'm wearing in Okay, so if you guys want to see this beautiful lady, <laughs> onlyfans.com slash Christina Khalil. It's actually linked in the description below. On a side note, did you see in your um, video with the American flag, people were complaining that you were desecrating the flag? 
There's a huge, there's like 20 comments of people arguing back and forth about it on your Instagram. Last I checked, they do flags on paper plates that we toss in the trash. Isn't that crazy? That we wipe our I know. With. And you're technically, it's illegal to use the flag the for marketing or making money. Wears, yeah. That Isn't that crazy? Wears, so it's like, yeah, I know. It's that. so funny. All right, you want to see? But you know what? The U.S. isn't mad because I'm a citizen now. <laughs> yeah, exactly. There you go. Yeah, that's There's good. one of the outfits. Yeah, boom. Okay. okay. That's all Demonetized. you Demonetized. <laughs> Demonetized. Anyway, OnlyFans.com if you want to see that. Let's uh, look, pray that this... This is the mood I'm in today. This, this is my mood that I'm in today. Sorry. Sorry, kids. <laughs> all right. So it's been about three hours now. We're still waiting for the towing company. Pretty much a whole day wasted at this point. Uh, I went downstairs. Luckily, we have a gym in our house, which I'm very thankful for. Uh, so I was able to get a workout in. One of my goals for this year is to take better care of my health. Uh, last year, I was skipping a lot of meals uh, to get videos out for you guys and all that, which is great. I mean, this is my job, but um, I want to try and put my health a little bit more in the forefront. So um, people don't realize how much time YouTube takes, especially when we each have our own channels, our own Instagram accounts, our own TikToks, our own Patreon accounts. You know, it just goes on and on and on, and we do it all ourselves. So it's a lot of work. Um, but anywho, we're still waiting for them. Hopefully they get here in time so that we can get over there and they're still open so we can get a rental car. Otherwise, that's gonna be, oh, <laughs> that's gonna be a bad situation. But anyway, enough, enough complaining. Christina got a, um, I got a lightsaber? Too. I'm putting them together right now. And so what was the reasoning behind these? Well, I wanted to put the ring light challenge, like the light. Right, yeah. But these were custom and they took about a month. Obviously longer because <laughs> yeah. the ring light challenge is the trend is over. It's yeah. been like a month. But yeah. now I've got lightsabers and I'm calling out Phil Connolly. Oh. And when he comes, um to bring his kick his ass. He's got two and now I'm gonna have four and one of them's dual, so I don't wanna rain on his parade. I can't wait to see her not know how to <laughs> use these. <laughs> I don't know, I'm gonna do it right now. Just give me give me a second. Okay. We'll cut. <laughs> we got the lightsabers up and running. <laughs> This one is a RGB, so it changes colors. That one is just a solid blue. I have more on the way, but... Oh, actually, you can go... Oh, but this one's just... doesn't change the color, oh. yeah. Look at this. This one was, like, dangerous. That one, you have to know what you're doing. And they make noises. <laughs> but what are you gonna use these for? Like, what are you gonna use these for? Say. Okay. You know what? This is what happens when Come Christina fight me. when Christina Who makes purchases me? without me involved. Phil. This is this is what happens. Phil, I challenge you. Uh -huh. Come at me, bro. Come at me. <laughs> there she is, classic Christina, cutting up food for her deer. For me. For her animals. Just Never all, cooks me anything. It's all Look at her. For me. And then we'll here's the best part about it. Chili, we have laundry so to fold in there, but she'll do this and then wait until midnight. Dude, I can't. And then be like, holy crap, like, I forgot about the laundry. And then right before bed, we have to fold all this laundry and it's like miserable. One in the morning. She does it every time. Look no, at her. I was going to go do it right now, but then I went out to the deer feeder and I noticed that they ate everything from last night. Those you deer, saw how many deer don't even had. let us get anywhere close it's to them. It's so cold outside. We I did see like 20 of them in the backyard last night, remember? And all the raccoons that was pretty cool. and everything's eating. So. They're, for some reason around like, pretty much once it gets dark, they yeah. come and just hang out in the yard. I think they were eating grass or it's something. It's hard times right now. It's freezing outside. Hey, I mean, they've I survived should... before we lived here, okay? We don't know that. They'll survive long Maybe after. half of them died because they froze to death. Anyway, I will do, I'll get to, you know, Please. you could go do the laundry. You don't need me to do it. You could uh, go separate You know them. what? I'm going to do that. That's what he says, but he's not going to do it. <laughs> All right, so the more bad news continues. We've been waiting now about five and a half hours for the tow truck to arrive. Mm -hmm. And um, we just realized that it's gonna be after hours. So I called Mercedes to let them know. And they said they actually don't have a loaner available because the service department is now closed. So um, we won't have a loaner car until hopefully tomorrow. If, if even tomorrow, we'll have to wait and see. They but, didn't even put a note down that we were bringing in a car. Yeah, so they didn't even have they would have had a loaner car in if they actually. Not my phone was ringing. It's not okay. <laughs> Sorry. If they actually put that note in. Yeah. That, oh, they're going to bring a car. And instead, they're like, call this and bring it here. But they yeah. didn't put a note in. That we're towing so, a car in and going to need a loaner. I told the guy. No, we don't have. Would. So uh, we wrote down a list of everything since we're going to have to put this in the night box now. Yeah, with our key the and drop box. Yeah. I just basically said that it won't start. There was the error message and what's been happening, and then the ongoing problems with the transmission, the jolting from third to second, and then also at times it occurs when accelerating from third to fourth gear. 
just so that they know these are the issues yeah. because we won't be there to sell them. I was gonna let all of this stuff go, like I said, because we were gonna be trading the car in anyway, and they said that they would give us a good trade-in. it's been a horrible experience. But at this point, I need to. I feel like I need to share what's been happening because I've had people messaging me on Instagram and friends that have had these issues with this car in particular as well. So um, I just want to document it just so people know, you know what I mean? Um, a lot of people buy things based on what we get and our excitement for them and things like that and our experiences. So we just want to be honest um, for our audience's sake. So here we are all day long. It's now dark outside and <laughs> we're still sitting here waiting. So uh, we just realized it's probably a good idea to uh, move my R8 out of the way so that when the tow truck driver gets here, they have plenty of room to work with. That's the last thing I need is something getting freaking broken from the towing company. Or scratch. Yeah, or scratch or anything like that. So uh, I'm gonna start up the R8. I'll give you guys a cold start since it has the new Fab Speed exhaust and performance package. Wow. So at least that's something that's cool. Unfortunately, ever since I got that, it's snowed, sleeted, <laughs> hailed, and haven't been able to drive it at all. But let's get let's a cold do it start. before the uh, deer gets spooked. <laughs> oh yeah, they're gonna all run. I was telling Christina, I've had my R8 for a year and a half, put about 10,000 miles on it. Never had a single issue with that car. Supercar, V10. Never had, had a, a CRV, issue. Honda, and a Nissan. Never had SUV. any issues with those. <laughs> <laughs> How did it sound though? How did the cold sound it was, sound? it was loud, yeah. <laughs> I hate initial loud sounds when it's like super quiet. So I'm like, oh. Unfortunately, the cameras really don't pick it up. So, um, it, like the microphone in this will immediately adjust the gain to bring it down so you really don't get an idea for how loud it is. Seems just trying to uh, start the... I was trying to show Desi this and he just took off running, yeah. We should bring it over to Oro and see what he does. You want to? Okay, let's see. Oro, sniff it. Let's see what Oro thinks of this. And then turn it on. He's a badass. Oro doesn't give a fudge. What is that, Oro? What is that, bud? What is that? What is that? He wants to light. chase it. Look at him. Look Looks pretty cool light. in the darkness. No F's given. Oh, he still doesn't care. He's like, I'm, I'm over it. You. I'm gonna get you. I'm gonna get you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. So after waiting six and a half hours, do you hear these rock these rocks hitting my car? This is why I didn't want to be driving a supercar around when they put rocks down on the road because it sucks. Oh god. Oh well actually you can see the traffic right there on the highway. So after waiting six and a half hours, they weren't able to get to us. What is this filming? I don't know. It's on you. Why does it matter? Okay. Tell your story. Um they weren't able to get to us today, so I said, can you just come tomorrow? So they're gonna come tomorrow instead. There was an accident, so obviously that takes priority, whatever. I guess they only we wasted our whole day truck for the whole town. Sitting around in our house, yeah, for the whole day. So um, we decided we're just gonna go out and get some food because we really haven't ate much. And we're gonna go to Bonefish and celebrate this horrible day with a great <laughs> meal. So let's do it. All right, so this is actually my first time driving the car in our area because it's been so shitty. But you can hear this thing. It sounds angry. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. That's where our car should be right now, yeah, but it's not. It oh. I know, but this thing is. It's mean. It's gnarly. It's always trying to race. Oh, he's trying to race you. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> Let's not get pulled over on the Let's way to not. dinner. Alright, we have arrived at Bonefish. Car feels phenomenal. There was a Volkswagen Volkswagen GTI that was um, racing me on the on the road on the way here. Actually it was pretty fast. I was I was surprised. If you watch this video, uh, nice car, dude. It sounded good too. But uh, I had to lay the smack down on him if you know what I mean. Just once, just one time, you know, just had to show him. 
Who's boss? This is how ridiculous Jared is. We sat down and then he realized he could have parked right here so that he could look at his car while he eats because that's what Jared likes to do. So he's like, I could just back it up. <laughs> okay, he's gonna take up two spots. <laughs> and I was like, Jared, it doesn't matter. Now we're gonna have a longer way to walk around to our car after. And he's like, I'm gonna do it. Well, there you go. Now he can sit and watch his car. <laughs> Look at him run, it's so cold outside. <laughs> All right, so we started off while they bring bread out. That actually kind of looks like moss, but it's really, really good. Um, I got a smoked old fashioned, which is highly needed after today's escapades. And then let me know if anybody else does this. I actually moved my car when I saw where we were sitting, just so I could see it, because uh, it makes me happy. I do that stuff with my motorcycles too. What? I made fun of you doing it. You did? Yeah. To the, to the camera? Uh -huh. You were filming? Oh, what a dick. And then uh, we ordered some food. Uh, I got my favorite meal, so stay tuned for that. All right, food has arrived. Bang bang shrimp. <laughs> Teen's got the bang bang shrimp, which Tacos. always reminds me of the hurry up shrimp from, from Family, Family Guy, Guy episode. Hurry up shrimp, hurry up shrimp. With a side Yeah, I got a uh, filet and lobster tail. Uh, well done, don't judge me. <laughs> uh, with broccoli and bacon mac and cheese and I'm so excited right now. It looks fantastic This is what we come home to look at this guy <clears throat> And two <laughs> Look at him Or what are you doing bud? What are you doing? Look there's old or young Jared I should say and all my track records look at that 200 meter hurdle. Oh, I'm sorry 300 meter hurdles School record, or state or champion, mid pens, athlete of the year for the entire state of Pennsylvania. No big deal. Look how funny I look. No, they don't. <laughs> Sorry, I digress. Anyway, we're gonna chill for the evening. Tina's probably gonna do some work. That she, who am I kidding? She never does any work. We're gonna go play some Apex. Right. We're gonna go play some Apex with Alex, Alexander Hamilton. He's not ready. Little Broski. Nope, he has to take his fourth poop of the day. <laughs> and then eat his 18th meal. <laughs> I need to elevate my foot because it hurts. Oh, we're gonna elevate it. I need it. to elevate it above my heart, so. That's what's going on? there. <laughs> okay, I just had another idea. No. We'll see you guys in the morning. No. <laughs> All right, so it is the following day and it's around, I don't know what time it is, one o'clock or so, two o'clock. Um, unfortunately, the driver never showed up at 11 and then they ended up actually canceling. So now they're trying to find another driver for us. So our car is still sitting undrivable in the driveway. We did drop off Christina's car to my buddy uh, Ben's shop, West Shore Auto Center, and that's actually getting down pipes and a tune, which is gonna have about 130 horsepower. So if you wanna see that video, you should head on over to Christina's channel. It's gonna be epic whenever she gets it uploaded. Um, but as far as this current situation with our uh, GLE, uh -huh. we're basically back to square one. So we're just waiting to get it towed at this point. Fun times. All right, so I ended up reach, reaching out to my buddy Dan at Sun Motors Mercedes, and within five minutes, he found a driver for me, and there's a tow truck coming right now. Should be here in about 10 minutes. So I wish I would have reached out to him the beginning, in the beginning, um, but he said this should not happen with Mercedes Roadside Assistance Program. So, um, you know, it is, it is what it is. But yeah, Dan at Sun Motors Mercedes is taking care of us. We also have a GLE 63 on order through them. Um, so yeah, and we've become friends since working with them and stuff too. Um, so hopefully this all works out and we can get the car on the tow truck um, and get it over there. All right, they finally got it into neutral and they're pushing. <laughs> all right, well, at least we got it out of the well, garage. We neutral. So I know, to the rescue. Good. And now we'll try to get it up onto the flatbed and then go from there. All right, up she goes. She's got no power steering, so that's pretty brutal. Look at that craziness. All right, so that's actually my neighbor, Brian, who lives down the street. He came out here, grabbed the car, put it up on there, no problem. They're gonna take it over to Sun Motors Mercedes and um, we're actually gonna follow and see if we can get a loaner car. Look at that, hilarious, unbelievable. All right, let's get it started up with this bad boy. I have a car that actually works. <laughs> oh my God, it's so loud. Listen to this in here. Wow. Okay, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Oh, now we- It just never ends. 
ends. It never stops. We'll put that on when we go to Dado's tonight to film my video. Unbelievable. Would you look at that? Look <laughs> Ran into our big baby. Oh God, Jared, don't kill us, please. Why is he stopping in the middle of the road? Because there's a car in front of him. Well, what is happening? It's just a mess right now at three o'clock on the pike. Well, weaving through traffic, I see. I Cop back shot. up to our baby. There it is. So dirty. <laughs> Pulling out from Sun Motors Mercedes. Thank God for Dan and the rest of the and Brian and people here at Sun Motors. Got the car picked up and um, they're gonna get it looked at. They're also gonna try to get us a loaner car as well. Every nobody has cars, so luckily my R8's all wheel drive. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. That's where this video is gonna end. There's really nothing else we can tell you at this point. Once they figure out what the problem is, uh, I'll let you guys know. Hopefully it's something easy and we can get the car back soon. And then uh, I'll go from there. I, I love Mercedes. I'd really like to keep that car and then trade it in for the, the 63 version that we already have on order when that comes in. Um, but if we have more issues with it, then I might look at trying to get out of it and get into something else in the meantime. So it's all sun. Can't even see. <laughs> but um, yeah, that's it. That's where we stand. I'll give you guys one last pull with the new exhaust. That sounds ridiculous. I let Dan hear it. He loved it. quick update for you guys we ended up just turning right back around Dan got us a loaner car and uh, it's beautiful I believe it's a 2021 uh, e350 formatic and the interior is gorgeous look at this I thing like I'm a 60 year old <laughs> <laughs> it's really it's nice. A nice interior. It almost it's looks like an S class. Like ours. Yeah. It's just Look at a this. Version. I have no idea what the motor is or anything like that, but we've got a loaner. So thank you once thank again you. to Dan and Sun Motors Mer uh, Mercedes for taking care of us. We really appreciate it. Now the video is over. <laughs>